Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek reacts back at it again. You got it right, Danielle Balovoine. I'm looking forward to this recommendation made by a Patreon subscriber. Said I should check out SOS of an Earthman in Distress. Um, that is the English translation. That is, um, and according to you guys, I actually did uh, a reaction to a cover from Dimash uh, before. So now I'm going to be reacting to the original version, um, and I can't wait to get my hands on this. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be fantastic, guys. He's been on a roll. Two for two, that is. Two for two. Um, could he be, he could he go, could it go three for three? Um, I'm pretty sure he will, but let's check it out, guys. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I'd love to your feedback. It makes videos like these all the more possible. And also, take a moment to follow me and like me, both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations, like the one you're about to watch, all the more possible. Guys, if I go bananas, you know the drill. It's going to go directly on my Spotify. Be sure to follow me at Derek Reacts. Link in the description down below. Um, I also have cool new merchandise available for you guys. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. DerekReacts.store. I'll be updating that uh, site every now and then with new merchandise. Check it out when you get a chance. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's go. Voici le SOS d'un terrien en détresse. Ah. J'ai jamais eu les pieds sur terre. J'aimerais mieux être oiseau. Oh, oh. Je suis mal dans ma peau. Je voudrais voir le Sensational. Sensational, guys. Sensational. It was beautiful. It was beautifully done. Um, and I remember, I remember the song now because um, Dimash sang it. And I remember his his cover, his version. Guys, I didn't pause it at all. I wanted to feel every single emotion. I wanted to feel every single thing that he was delivering lyrically. I wanted to feel it. 
And that I did. That I did. There was something very organic about this performance. I think it's because it was completely stripped. I mean, you don't you don't hear anything, guys. There was no tweaking with her voice. I mean, his, his, his voice is completely live. Um, and I wanted to be completely enthralled by it. I wanted to be completely enthralled in it. And this song specifically is made for him. For him. In his in his way, the way he delivers it, this is what I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear all those intricacies behind his voice because he goes up there. He goes up there. I mean, I mean, think about all the octaves. I mean, he's what like six octaves. Like he he switches between his 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 tones up and down so quickly, um, and he does it so so flawlessly in such a way. Um, and it's hard to do that. It's really hard to do that. You know, and, and, and he does it really really well. Dimash Dimash does it well too. Um, but I was just you know really fighting back tears guys really fight, fighting back because you can hear the pain you can hear the pain that's in his voice at least at least the call for sos as he as he sings about it and it's um it's amazing it's amazing how he, how he how he does this guys i mean i was completely floored completely floored um it's live um you guys are going to be probably saying why did you react to the live one why did you react to starmania you should have reacted to the audio first Listen, guys, this is what I have. This is what was given to me by Patreon. So the next one I'll do most likely will be the audio version. If it's going to be next, if it's going to be sometime down the road, I'll let you guys know. But it all depends. It all depends. So let's look at these lyrics real quick. By the way, uh, SOS of an Earthman in distress. Let's take that with a grain of salt. I know the translation can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Um, it could be land, land, landowner or... Uh, but I get, I get it. I get what what it's what it's trying to reference. Why do I live? Why do I die? Why do I laugh? Why do I cry? Here is the SOS of an Earthman in distress. I never had my feet on Earth. I would rather be a bird. I don't feel the ease in my skin. I would like to see the world inside out. If it it was ever more beautiful, I love some difficulty in understanding what uh, he says here. Um, more beautifully seen from above. Um, I always confuse the life. By the way, is that I have some difficulty understanding what he says here. So the person that, that wrote the lyrics actually bracket that. That's not a part of the song. They're just wondering what, what that meant. Um, I've always, uh, with comic books, I've kind of had a longing change form, metamorphosis. I feel something that attracts me, that attracts me. Attracts me upwards, the great lotto of the universe. I don't know the right number. I didn't feel the ease in my skin. I don't, I, I don't like to be a robot. Metro works sleep. Um, drudgery of everyday life, working class person. Why do I live? Why do I die? Um, I believe I received the waves that come from another world. Excuse me. I need. I never had earth. Uh, never had my feet on earth. I'd rather be a bird. I don't feel ease in my skin. So forth. So forth. So forth. Very very interesting, guys. This was Starmania, and I think this song had. Uh, this gave a lot of lot of success uh, for Daniel because. Um, it hit the charts and it hit it big time. It hit it big time. I mean, he's got a whole bunch of them. He's got this one. He's got Juan uh, on Arrive de Ville uh, and Bolovu Nord, um, and they were all all written, all written for him. You know, accommodating accommodating his needs, especially for his voice. His voice is so interesting, so interesting, and it's very very different from all those uh, you know all these other artists I've been reacting to. He has a very very unique tone. And I've said that before, so I like it. I didn't notice he had an earring too, guys. He had a little earring there. Pretty cool. So there you have it, guys. Very, very. This is this looks like '80s. So uh, this like I mean, look at look at the the background and the stage. Um, I was looking at some of the some of the people too, the way they were dressed. So it looks like '80s Star Mania. Very, very interesting, guys. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Beautiful song, um, and with ease. Uh, instrumentation, very simplistic. Piano. The bass was killer. Um, you had all those strings. Um, and even, I think, some violins and stuff like that. Very, very heart-wrenching. Um, and he was doing it quick. He was doing it quick. Three three minutes and something. I don't know what, what time they get, they're get. they allotted you know, for these things. Um, I know Eurovision, they only have like three, three and a half or something like that. So I don't know. I don't know. But I'm interested in the, in the audio one now. And <laughs> I didn't stop it. I didn't pause it. Yes, I went bananas. But just because... I didn't give my approval in the midway in the song doesn't mean that it's not going to get approved because it most definitely is. Most definitely is. Until next time for more videos like these, guys, please leave your comments and suggestions down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Take care, guys.
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. Alright guys, take care. Love you guys. Peace.